Hey DIY enthusiasts, are you ready to dive into a magical project today? I'm here to guide you through creating your very own witchcraft altar cloth, a special piece that'll add a unique touch to your spiritual space. Let's get started. First things first, let's talk about what you'll need. You're going to want to choose a fabric that resonates with you spiritually. This could be anything from a simple cotton to a rich velvet. Think about what textures and colors speak to you. Are you drawn to midnight blues, deep purples, or maybe a vibrant gold? Once you've got your fabric, you'll also need some basic sewing supplies if you're planning to hem the edges. Now let's add some personality. Decorating your altar cloth can be as simple or as intricate as you like. Some people enjoy painting symbols like pentagrams, moons, or runes on their cloths. If you're not into painting, how about some iron-on patches or embroidery? This is your chance to infuse the cloth with your personal energy and intentions. Next up, let's talk about consecrating your altar cloth. This step is crucial as it cleanses the cloth and sets it apart for sacred use. You might want to use elements like incense, moonlight, or even a simple blessing spell. Whatever feels right to you. Remember, this process is all about connecting the cloth with your spiritual practice. So take your time and do what feels meaningful. Finally, how about some practical tips for maintaining your altar cloth? Always handle it with care and respect. If it gets dusty, gently hand wash it with mild soap and let it air dry. This will help preserve the energy and the fabric itself. There you go. You've just made your very own witchcraft altar cloth. Whether you're casting spells, meditating, or simply enjoying the beauty of your sacred space, this cloth will now hold a piece of your spirit and craft. Remember, the beauty of DIY is that there's no right or wrong way to do things, only your way. So trust your intuition, let your creativity flow, and enjoy the magical process. Until next time, keep crafting and keep conjuring.